दरगाह की फूलों की चादर में जो पिरोते थे खुशबू सारी रात समोसों की भाप से पहले मैदे में पिसते थे जिनके हाथ उन हाथों का मैं मान ढूंढता हूँ बाजारों में एक दुकान ढूंढता हूँ द फीलिंग ऑफ जस्ट हैविंग दैट फर्स्ट और आई स्टिल रिमेंबर आई मीन इट स्टिल गिव्स मी गुजबम ऑलमोस्ट फोर इयर्स लेटर विद आर न्यू स्टोर ओपनिंग इट फील्स लाइक नथिंग इज रियली चेंज दट एवरीथिंग हैज यू नो मैनी वुड स्टिल आस्क अस वाई द सेम प्लेस इट्स बिकॉज इट्स अ प्लेस आई कॉल होम इट्स अ प्लेस आई वर्शिप इट्स अ प्लेस आई लुक अपॉन एज अ स्परिचुअल सेंटर there is a larger india within an india and there are stories which are untapped so with our invites with our campaigns with our stories with our imagery with our clothes you know the idea is always not to really break any more but actually come back to simpler things that we all see but never really speak about because we just feel it's not special enough to be spoken of what people may see could be a rack of garments at a store but for me it's very symbolic it's like my childhood wrapped in the fabrics of love and then almost offering them as a symbolic present to the audience and the clients that come to us so calling this museum of memories is a very rightful ode to the things that have given me a purpose the things that have given me so much joy and then an acknowledgement of what really is the rani because we've always tried to be a lot more than just clothes are clothes in some places have been poetry in some places have been a love language in some places have been nostalgia and some places have been a celebration of childhood so when you come and visit the store and you see what we are planning with how it's going to look how the stories are coming about i feel like it's given me a lot more freedom of self acceptance and almost like a flashback reel of how life has been in the past 5 years The decor is actually inspired by the story of Nidivan. Nidivan actually translates in Sanskrit as the divine forest of treasures. Nearby there is a temple which is called Rang Mahal where it is believed that Krishna decorates Radha with his own hand. And you know the the mystery of the temple still remains and is still believed to be sacred inspired by folklore and and this beautiful story of love. Our our store decor in partnership with interflora has taken many elements of the lotus the banana leaves the rajdi ganda the mogra and beautiful layering of parrots and the jungle which is of the divine forest and merge them into this wonderland of our imagination and just like the forest of treasures which is nidivan for me the store becomes like forest of memories my idea of a complete celebration is evoking all the five senses for food we have khoya uh, mithai as our dessert partners where you know they're kind of bringing mithais from our homeland made with so much love which evoke the memory of just simple joys of celebrating savan rakhi diwali very easy on the eyes and the palette is really beautiful led with a lot of indian meats international flavors for food we have elite and they are curating a very specified menu with us bringing back sindhi nostalgia and sindhi cuisine at the forefront so people will for the first time be getting to experience something like that at a store launch you know the idea of the matka ghada lota ghagri they are often uh, represented with abundance prosperity and these nurturing qualities and looked upon as the symbol of a motherly figure and even within my own subculture and being in the sindhi community for us it it holds even for the relevance because people who were living around the banks of sindhu back in the day would celebrate cheti chand filling up a part of the river around them you know maybe even if it was just a matka or a little lota and taking it back home as this pure divine jal the idea of really looking at water as holy it's represented across probably every religion every culture across the world and so we thought why don't we really give back an ode to the simple and humble matka which you'd find it in probably every indian household and in many ways i also feel like it's the indians root connection almost with the soul with the mitti which it binds you back because you know we we come from that and we will one day kind of become that we just placed over 5000 matkas on the ceiling where you'd see small big large differently shaped earthen pots you'd also see a handcrafted boat because that too again i feel like is an ode to my culture my community and who i am who what my roots come from and the idea of traveling the idea of moving places comes from that boat 
another element in the store decor you'd see which is in the interiors is strong references of Harappan culture. So it just came all together where I felt a lot of memory led with a lot of mythology, personal beliefs, personal stories has created our store into a larger conversation and a larger meaningful place for everyone who comes and visits us. A key signature for us at Torani has always been our chintz, our, you know, our floral patterns. That's been something I grew up watching my amma wear in her saris and she collected them. It somehow finds its way through every single collection that we've done over the years, which is says a lot about me. At the store launch, you'll also see at the window display, we have placed a typical Sindhi choga with imprints of our chintz Reimagine the most classic colors of peat and pomegranate to neel and geru. Also along with that, we've made this handcrafted clay-based eravata, you know, in, in all its glory with the seven trunks. So please join us at the launch of our second store in Khan Market with the event Thirlaya, a museum of memories, an archival and a recollection of all the mementos and memories by Thorani. I hope you enjoy discovering this.